Five days and no water for people who live in Poe Homes in West Baltimore. The Department of Public Works says it is working to restore water. Mayor Jack Young says the water outage is unacceptable and the city says it is taking so long because it's a complicated repair. Folks who live there understand the infrastructure issues but question why water wasn't made more readily available earlier. They say the city's rerouting of the water has been insufficient during the repairs and people can't do much of if anything at all. No bathing, no cooking, no cleaning. No nothing. No washing, no clothes, no nothing. We can't do anything. And when I say nothing, I mean nothing. Well, the city is delivering portable toilets to Lexington and Saratoga streets. Volunteers showed up to hand out cases and cases of water on Friday. And a community group is now using portable showers and washers and dryers. And the University of Maryland Baltimore also opened up one of its buildings for residents to come over and take a hot shower. The death of a man found in the Patapsco State Park is being investigated now as a homicide. A woman walking her dog along a trail found Glenroy Copeland's body on Sunday evening right near River and Thistle Roads. After freshman Olivia Paragol died and dozens of others got sick, the University of Maryland's response to the deadly adenovirus outbreak last fall is under investigation. The University System of Maryland Board of Regents is in the process now of selecting who will conduct an independent review, which will include experts in infectious diseases, public health and communication, and facilities management. This comes after Governor Larry Hogan requested that the board look into the issue last month. The review will focus on the school's actions and communications after discovering the outbreak, as well as its response to mold in campus residence halls during the same time. Well, the weekend snapshot shows that we're looking at mostly sunny skies on both days and comfortable conditions out there with temperatures hanging out in the lower 80s for the first official weekend of summer here in Maryland. Not bad at all. The heat and humidity does make a return though by Monday and Tuesday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. High temperatures right around 90 degrees. Then another heat wave possible here as we get towards Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies with high temperatures at about 90. Thank you, Eric. Click with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates on top stories and breaking news. Also for news and weather while you're out there on the go, download the WMAR2 app in the App Store. You can watch live radar and get breaking news sent right to your phone. Thanks for watching. I'm Jamie Costello. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.